After me getting all excited in the last few videos about spring arriving, winter has well and truly returned with a vengeance. It is minus seven this morning, but my goodness, isn't it beautiful? Let's see what photographic opportunities await us this morning. I think I found my first image of the morning. One thing I was really looking forward to photographing today was beautiful textures and patterns in ice. But all the, the puddles and pools of ice that are on the path are covered in snow. So that's not gonna happen. But one thing that's really drawing me in right now is these beautiful reflections of the trees on this lake here. Now these reflections are not crisp because we've got the frozen ice on top of it. But what I'm really liking about this is the minute detail within it. And I'm hoping by photographing this that I'll be able to get a nice textured image. So this lens doesn't quite go far enough. This is my 24 to 70 millimeter. So I'm gonna use the lens that I'm currently using to film on my 24 to 200 millimeter lens to zoom right into those beautiful reflections and get some nice abstract fine art images. I've just found the most incredible macro photography opportunity. The beautiful frost on all of these beautiful structures going along the water's edge here. It's just so, so beautiful. The only issue is I don't currently have a macro lens. The one that I used in my last few videos, I had to send back, but I'm delighted to say that I do have one on order. But of course, I do not have it with me just now. I'm going to try and use my 24 to 200 millimeter lens to zoom into these beautiful structures and see if I can get something of interest. There's always opportunities and I wholeheartedly believe that no matter what equipment you've got with you, you can find photographic opportunities and make the best of the situation. So that's what I'm going to try and do just now. Find a lovely structure here that I can photograph with that lens and see what I can create. Photography can be really challenging sometimes and what I'm trying to do this morning with these is proving to be really challenging. <laughs> what I've done is I've positioned myself facing the sun and what that's doing is allowing the ice crystals to really sparkle while the sun is hitting it and also by using a shallow depth of field it's allowing the sparkliness on the water to appear behind it as these beautiful bokeh style dots within the image which just looks beautiful but trying to frame it along with focusing it against the bright sun it's not easy I'm really struggling to see what I'm doing right now but I do think there's potentially one or two images that I've created this morning that are well worth showing so I'll show you them now and fingers crossed they look as good when I get home on the computer as they do on the back of my camera
This has been a really beautiful and very mindful way to start the day. I'd love to hear what you thought of the images I created in this video and if you know anybody that you feel may find inspiration from or benefit from watching this video, please do share it with them. And next time you wake up to a beautiful crisp morning like this, why not consider getting out early and making the most of it? There is so many photographic opportunities in wintry conditions and this morning has been a real treat. Now that this video has come to an end, there's only one thing left for you to do. It's time to pick up your camera and head outdoors. There's so many amazing photography opportunities just waiting for you to discover.